Hi, welcome to the Sanchez Review. I'm Israel Sanchez. Today we'll be talking about The Eight. Not that eight. That's better. The Eight is a book written by Catherine Neville. It's over 600 pages long, so you really have to love reading for this one. Don't get me wrong, I like the book. I'll tell you right now that I enjoy reading most of it. Um, it drags a little bit of kind of in the middle point, but she does uh, pick up the plot, sort of. Essentially, the book tells two different stories. The first story is about Catherine Vellis. She's a computer expert and she's hired by OPEC to work in Algeria. Well, she's kind of sent there because they don't really like her. The second story is about a nun named Mireille and she's fleeing France during the French Revolution and she has in her, in her possession a few pieces of the Monglan service. The Monglan service is a made-up chef service who the author Catherine, not to be confused with the actual character named Catherine Bellis, who also worked at OPEC as the author. You got that? She is also somehow connected to Mireille, and the book tells you how they're connected eventually. It takes a while though. I'm not gonna spoil the plot for you. Um, just to let you know that the characters were, were great. I mean, the main character is a strong woman. She's a uh, strong-willed and she knows what she wants. Her psychic, um, she's kind of a cartoonish character and her love interest is a very mysterious guy who you don't really get to know that much. Only in the end you get to know a little about his family history but that's pretty much it. So the book is part mystery, part thriller in a way and part romance novel. So you can skip the rest of those parts if you want. Anyways, so, basically, the author starts mentioning every person you can think of who was alive during the French Revolution. Napoleon, Talleyrand, Marat, Catherine the Great. Everybody in this book, basically, is connected to the Montglan servers. Even Benjamin Frank Franklin is mentioned, and Voltaire at some point. So, she pretty much got everybody from history and put them into this novel. And I think that's one of the flaws. I mean, I understand she wants to make it this amazing, powerful chess that everybody wants, but I think simpler would be better. So you do find out why this chess that is so important, the Mont Blanc service, but you don't find out until the very, very end of the book. Meanwhile, all you hear about, wow, powerful, mysterious, be careful, but you don't really know why it's so powerful or so mysterious until, like I said, the very end. Prepare for a long, long read. I don't mind long books. I love reading. That's why I'm reviewing books. But like I said, sometimes too much is just uh, makes too complex for, for no reason. So I give this book a four star review. I would give it a five because the start up's great, but then at the end it loses kind of steam. And then at some point, she confuses the point of view. Usually, the, the there's two points of view. The first person by the Catherine Bellis is writing in first person. And then there's third person uh, with Mireille, the nun from doing the French Revolution. But at some point during the story, Catherine's uh, point of view becomes third person, which is weird. It's only in a few sentences, but I caught it, so it threw me off a little bit. But again, besides that, it's a fun read if you like long books. And I recommend it, four stars. Um, go get it, and please use the link that I have in my blog, because that, that way I get it. Pay a few cents if you do that. Thank you.